video, we look at a proposed operation that was written by General Lyman Lemitzer in 1962. Let's dive into Operation Northwoods. Operation Northwoods was a proposed false flag operation against American citizens that originated in the U.S. Department of Defense in 1962. The proposal contained many plans calling for CIA operatives to both stage and commit acts of terrorism against American military and civilians, they would blame it on the Cuban government and use it to justify a war against Cuba. Operation Northwoods detailed many possible terrorist acts. The document included the possible assassination of Cuban immigrants, sinking boats of Cuban refugees, hijacking planes to be shot down or given the appearance of being shot down, blowing up a U.S. ship, and even orchestrating terrorism in U.S. cities. The operation also recommended developing a communist Cuban terror campaign in places like Miami or Washington. This would involve the bombing of U.S. civilians and then placing the blame on the Cuban government to paint a false image of Fidel Castro and the Cuban government. The desired result of this operation would be to place the U.S. in the apparent position of suffering from an irresponsible government of Cuba and develop an international image of Cuban threat. When Operation Northwoods was proposed to President John F. Kennedy, it was rejected. The president said bluntly that we're not discussing the use of military force on civilians. Following the presentation of Operation Northwoods, President Kennedy not only rejected it, but also removed General Lyman Lemitzer from his position as chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff. The physical documentation of Operation Northwoods became declassified through the John F. Kennedy Assassination Records Collection Act of 1992. This declassified over 4 million documents including Operation Northwoods. The link to the National Archives page for the declassified Operation Northwoods files is in the description of this video if you'd like to check it out.